What's up guys, TechDoggy here, again with a 99 iMac video. Today we will be going online with it. I want to show you some websites that do work amazingly well, even still on this 20, more than 20 year old machine. I have installed Netscape Navigator 7, 7.0. It's one of the most recent browsers for Mac OS 9 and it works decently well on websites that don't require HTTPS encryption. Uh, for example, let's try going on Google here. Delaying Google, here comes up an alert, because some stuff doesn't work, but the website does load. No problems, let's search for I uh, know not Apple but Wikipedia. Let's try going on Wikipedia. Here. It does load the results, the modern Google website without the Alright these little I don't know how you call them, but question X little questions don't work. And if I try to go on Wikipedia itself, it shows an error that Netscape cannot connect because there is no common encryption. But one site that would allow such stuff is frogfind.com. So it's the search engine for vintage computers. And if we search for Wikipedia here, Alright, took some time to load. We get all the results. I think this is a wrapper for Dr. Go. But if you try to access the website, exactly. It, the Frog Find website has a wrapper around Wikipedia so that you can browse it which is pretty cool and it works for practically any website. Then another site I have discovered is the old net right here. And the reason I already have found stuff, I already did a recording about browsing internet for the first time, but my phone application crashed and didn't save any footage. So I can't really do my live reactions or stuff like that. But I can show you guys what I have found. Here are a lot of sites for old computers, which is really cool to explore. One thing that we can do is sign the guestbook here. Let's do it. Right here, we have like Doc said, greetings from iMac. G3. Very nice. Let's go back. We have these all the widgets. Sample all the vista. Search engine, which is another search engine with top searches and stuff. Also, I guess, but that also does work, which is amazing. I said the new close tabs here in Netscape. As we can try this thing to make gamer sledge. You see, and this is a wrapper for the Wayback machine, so it shows stuff as it was in 1996. We have some games, some game reviews, for example, LA19 Bowling, which we can all browse and use on a legit old machine. And that's amazing. I really would like that. I think it's quite amazing. I'll try getting this game later. Let's go back. Let's 
and this is a very cool site. And the final website which I want to show you guys is the Macintosh Garden, which is uh, like a repository, rep repository for old Macintosh software, games and apps, and it actually works on old computers, like on this one it does work. I can directly download stuff from here. Even the slider works, which it didn't work in Internet Explorer. It's like a number munchers, little prints. Came from the book, I love that book. And one thing I want to show you guys that you can actually download stuff from here. For example, let's search, let's search for an FTP client. And we have a lot of a lot of clients here. Let's check out transit. Yeah, this this one is still around nowadays and it Alright, here is the update link for the OS9 versions. Oh, alright, never mind, I just read what's written here. Cancel the download. Also X exclusive, so the PowerPC 1.7 is latest version of original. My colors can use, so let's just get it. Alright, here we have transmit 1.7. Okay, and it was almost immediate because it only it's less than a megabyte, it's only 700 kilobytes. And it automatically downloaded and opened with a Stuff It Expander. Here it downloaded on the desktop the SID file. And here we have the application itself. And yeah, it's just an FTP client. I'll try finding something else that takes a bit more place just so you can just so that I can show you the transmission speeds. Alright, 28 megabytes. That should take some time. Alright, let's open using Stuff It Expander. And here we have the download time. Alright. It's actually quite quick, to be honest, in Internet Explorer it was way slower, like 10 times slower, but with Netscape Navigator, downloads so quickly. <laughs> Alright, this is the coolest feature of the old net site. It's a, it's a wrapper to the Wayback Machine so that you can access the old school websites on old school computers. For example here, let's go to apple.com as it was in 1999, about when this machine was released. Here, isn't that amazing? The announcement for Exactly this iMac, exactly this color, this tangerine orange type beat. Your example, let's check out what's good about macOS 9. Yeah, it takes some time to load. Just let's check out the website for macOS 9. Internet call pilot. Now make it like this. 
with Sherlock, multiple users. Come on. And it feels just like browsing a legit website at that time. Let's check out the IMAX site. So guys, that was it. I just wanted to quickly show you that you can still get online with uh, such an old machine. You can browse the old internet via the Wayback Machine wrappers, and we have wrappers for modern internet. And you can still download access repositories of old school software and downloaded it. Like I downloaded the Transmit FTP program, and it just simply amazed me that it's still possible nowadays with them modern LAN cable, you just plug it in and online you can go without any issues. Thank you guys for watching and join me next time. I don't even know what I'll be doing next time. Bye! -bye.